So to get started, we want to create a new sequence for our panel effect. So go to File, and then Sequence, and then select the Digital SLR, and under 1080p, we want the P30. Now we want to create our basic shape for our glass morphism panel effect. So go to the Rectangle tool and make a shape on your screen, and then deselect our new rectangle by clicking in this gray area. Now hit Ctrl M on your keyboard if you're using Windows, or Command M if you're on Mac, and this will open our export screen. From the Format menu, go down and select PNG, and then make sure Export as Sequence is unchecked, and then save your file as Fill, and go down and click Export. Go over and highlight your rectangle effect on the timeline, and then go to Effect Controls, and uncheck the Fill box, and check off the Stroke box. Then change the value of Stroke to 4. Now we want to deselect our rectangle again, by clicking in this gray area here, and then hitting Ctrl M on your keyboard to bring up our export menu. Save this file as Outline, and then click Export. The box for Export as Sequence should still be unchecked like before. Now we've created our effect, we need a background image or video to make it work. Delete the rectangle from your timeline, and then add your video clip, and then duplicate it by holding Alt and clicking and dragging above. Take your fill PNG we just created, and drag it above the duplicated clip, and then do the same for the outline PNG, and drag it above fill. Go over to Effects, and find the track mat key effect, and drag it on top of your duplicated clip. Now do the same for Gaussian Blur. Find it under Effects, and drag it on top of the duplicated clip again. Now go over to Effect Controls, and under Track Mat Key, change Mat to Video 3, and composite using to Mat Luma. Then go down to Blurriness, and change the value to 25. Now we have a very professional looking glass morphism effect in Premiere Pro.